Today we would be talking about the essay, The Spectator's Account of Himself. This essay is written by Joseph Edison. In this essay, the essayist has more or less talked about himself. He has called himself spectator. A spectator is an observer. And he begins his essay with lines like a reader who is reading an essay is very fond to know about the essayist or the writer in general. Any piece of literature which is written by a writer creates a curiosity in the minds of the reader as who is the writer, what are his preferences, how his life was and more or less the reader wants to know many things about the personal life of the writer. Somewhere in this way, he wants to evaluate or understand the essay or any piece of writing in a better way. In this essay also, Edison has in the beginning talked about this curiosity of the readers. He calls himself a spectator. He calls himself an observer of life. And he wants to maintain the fact that he is simply an observer. Edison and Steele, this combination of writers, they had wrote many essays. And Spectator and Tatler were two such um, books or uh, such journals which were carried out by these writers. And both these writers of essays were very popular. Many people feel that these essays by Edison and Steele, they have way, paved a way for big length novels. The way these writers have talked about different characters, lifted these different characters from different areas of society. They are merchants, they are lawyers, they are traders, then they are writers, then they are dandies, they are people who are politicians, the people who are judges, the people who belong to a particular ideology. So both these writers have in their canvas included all the aspects of society, most of the aspects of society which were very much prevalent at that point of time. Now in this essay also, Edison has talked about the life of London. He has in a way given a glimpse of his personal life as well. He talks of various days of week where he, where he could be found at different places. He talks of coffee houses. He talks of clubs, he talks of politicians or he talks of political talks, he talks of debates, he talks of arguments, he talks of the cases which were very popular at that time, he talks of the various judgments of the cases at that point of time and in a way he wants to tell you that he could be available during these talks at various places. At the same point of time, he would be telling you that he would not talk much. He would be a listener. He would be a simple spectator. He would be a simple observer. He would talk about things in a very neutral way. And then he would talk about his childhood. He would talk about his mother. He would talk about the dreams of his mother. How he would not play with general toys which were given to him, how at college or how at university he was a very good reader, he was very studious but at the same point of time very silent, how he talks about that how he has traveled, traveled throughout Europe and how he had tried to uh, gain knowledge 
from various practical aspects of life as well as the aspects of life which are written in the books of literature somewhere it tells that there are all the books many books or in fact most of the books which are read by him there 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 could not be uh, any single book which could be quoted that it has not been read by him so somewhere he would tell you that he is a scholar and he has a love for reading but at the same point of time his essays are very restrained his essays uh, lack humor his uh, essays are uh, uh, lacking satire or uh, the aspect of laughter uh, but these aspects to to some extent could be found in steel steel is less restrained and he is less formal whereas uh, edison is very formal in his writings but both these writers were very popular in their writings and their essays were very popular and at the same point of time there was so much going on uh, in england in the life of london but they would project all these things in a very restrained way and he he would he in this essay has uh, clarified this thing that he would simply act as an observer of life i would suggest you to read this essay on your own as well